Another day, another story. 1. CSS Grid CSS Grid is a layout module in CSS that allows web developers to create complex, two-dimensional grid layouts with ease. It allows for precise control over the positioning and sizing of elements on a web page. Here are some key features of CSS Grid. 1. Grid Container, the parent element which contains all the grid items. 2. Grid Item, the children of the grid container that are placed within the grid. 3. Grid Lines, the horizontal and vertical lines that make up the grid. 4. Grid Tracks, the spaces between the grid lines, which define the columns and rows of the grid. 5. Grid Area, the space created by one or more grid tracks. 5. Grid areas can be defined by combining multiple grid items. 6. Grid Template, the blueprint of the grid, which defines the number and size of the grid tracks. 7. Grid Template Areas, shorthand for defining the grid areas using named templates. 8. Grid Gap, the space between grid tracks, which can be set separately for rows and columns. 9. Grid Auto Placement, a feature that automatically places grid items in empty grid cells. Using CSS Grid, web developers can create responsive and dynamic layouts that adjust to different screen sizes and orientations. With its powerful features, CSS Grid has become a popular choice for creating modern, visually appealing websites. 2. CSS Flexbox CSS Flexbox is a layout module that provides a flexible way to organize and align content within a container. It allows you to easily create complex layouts without having to rely on float or positioning properties. The key concepts of CSS Flexbox are 1. Flex Container a container element that holds a group of flex items. 1. You can create a flex container by setting the display property to flex or inline flex. 2. Flex items, the individual elements within a flex container that are laid out according to the flexbox rules. 2. Flex items are direct children of the flex container. 3. Flex direction, determines the main axis along which the flex items are laid out. 3. The main axis can be either horizontal, row, or vertical, column. 4. Justify content, defines how flex items are aligned along the main axis of the flex container. 4. It can be used to distribute extra space or to align items at the start, center, end, or even between or around them. 5. Align items, specifies how flex items are aligned along the cross axis, the axis perpendicular to the main axis. 5. It can be used to align items at the start, center, end, or stretch them to fill the container. 6. Flex Wrap, determines whether flex items should wrap to multiple lines or not when there is not enough space available in the flex container. 7. Flex Flow, a shorthand property that combines the flex direction and flex wrap properties. 8. Align Content, specifies how the lines of flex items are aligned within a flex container when there is extra space in the cross axis. 8. It can be used to distribute extra space or to align lines at the start, center, end, or even between or around them. By using CSS Flexbox, you can create responsive layouts that adjust to different screen sizes and orientations, without relying on media queries. It is supported by all modern browsers, making it a great choice for building websites and web applications. 3. CSS Frameworks, Bootstrap, Foundation, Materialize CSS Frameworks are pre-designed CSS libraries that provide developers with a set of reusable CSS components and layouts that can be used to build web applications quickly and easily. These frameworks often include pre-designed templates and themes that can be customized to match a specific project's needs. Here are some popular CSS frameworks. 1. Bootstrap Bootstrap is one of the most popular CSS frameworks available. 1. It is a mobile-first framework that includes a responsive grid system, typography, forms, buttons, navigation, and other UI components. 1. Bootstrap is also easy to customize and comes with pre-designed templates and themes. 2. Foundation, Foundation is another popular CSS framework that includes a responsive grid system, typography, forms, buttons, navigation, and other UI components. 2. It also includes pre-designed templates and themes and is easy to customize. 3. 
Materialize. Materialize is a modern CSS framework that is based on Google's material design. 3. It includes a responsive grid system, typography, forms, buttons, navigation, and other UI components. 3. Materialize also includes pre-designed templates and themes and is easy to customize. The advantage of using a CSS framework is that it saves developers a lot of time by providing pre-designed UI components that can be easily customized to fit a specific project's needs. This results in faster development times and more consistent designs across different projects. CSS preprocessors, SAS, LESS, Stylus. CSS preprocessors are tools that allow developers to write CSS code in a more efficient and organized way. Three popular CSS preprocessors are SAS, LESS, and Stylus. 1. SAS, Syntactically Awesome Style Sheets. SAS is a popular CSS preprocessor that allows developers to write CSS code in a more organized and efficient manner. 1. SAS is written in Ruby and is compatible with all versions of CSS. 1. SAS provides features such as variables, mixins, nesting, and inheritance, which makes it easy to write maintainable and reusable code. 1. SAS also supports modular architecture, which helps to create more modular and maintainable style sheets. 1. SAS files can be compiled into standard CSS files using the SAS compiler. 2. Less Less is another popular CSS preprocessor that is similar to SAS. 2. Less is written in JavaScript and is compatible with all versions of CSS. 2. Like SAS, Less provides features such as variables, mixins, nesting, and inheritance, which make it easy to write maintainable and reusable code. 2. Less also supports modular architecture, which helps to create more modular and maintainable style sheets. 2. Less files can be compiled into standard CSS files using the Less compiler. 3. Stylus Stylus is a CSS preprocessor that is written in JavaScript and is compatible with all versions of CSS. 3. Stylus provides features such as variables, mixins, nesting, and inheritance, which make it easy to write maintainable and reusable code. 3. Stylus also supports modular architecture, which helps to create more modular and maintainable style sheets. 3. Stylus files can be compiled into standard CSS files using the Stylus compiler. All three CSS preprocessors are similar in their features and capabilities. Developers can choose the one that best suits their needs and preferences. Thanks for watching.